owner operator tracking during hurricane or any other natural disaster a couple of things to consider let's start with operations part uh, number one never go to the affected area for uh, delivering of freight or uh, picking up a freight during the actual disaster uh, because most likely you're going to come to the facility and it's going to be all locked up because nobody is going to be there to load or unload you and then you're going to be stuck in a bad area for absolutely no reason and you're probably not even getting paid for it because there's no operator you get paid for what you haul and uh the, it's going to be at your best interest to stay away from these areas. However, uh, going into these areas to, to deliver emergency supplies or whatnot, water, food, whatever the case is, uh, before the event and after the event is highly beneficial to you as an owner operator to your business as well as to the people that you're going to be helping because in that case you truly helping you bring the supplies and uh, you know pre uh, pre event or after the event and people probably going to need that so you get to do uh, a good deed and make some money at the same time so a uh, couple of things when it comes down to the pickups and deliveries in the hurricane affected areas uh, your dispatcher if he's any good he needs to always check uh, and verify with a shipper and receiver are we really going to be open at the time of your arrival uh, because a lot of times uh, you may go to the to the place and if your dispatcher never verified let's say we just went of the hours uh, that's listed on the rate confirmation or whatnot uh, it is not gonna help you because some places will shut down the last minute so what you really need to do you really need to not only look at the rate confirmation uh, your dispatcher can't just be listening to what the broker has to say because the broker a lot of brokers are just going to read the instructions that we follow during regular times not during the hurricane or natural disaster uh, for those specific areas your dispatcher has to call the shipper has to verify guys what's a at what point are you going home at what point i should not be coming there and don't go there unless you know the place is going to be open so that's as far as the operations go so make money make money effectively and help the people effectively you being stuck there without a load without uh and not being able to help anybody anyway is not going to do anybody any good when you're going through hurricane or natural disaster affected areas and let's say you you have to park for the night somewhere in that area uh first of all watch uh, whatever channel Pay attention look at the look at the weather plan ahead because you better off stopping before the affected area or after you pass the affected area now if you don't have that option and you have to be in the affected area during the natural disaster a couple of things you need to consider number one make sure you park your equipment really really tight next to the other equipment so usually what we do we would pack our trailers so tight on the during the hurricane that in case if uh, wind starts blowing them around, we are right next to each other. And you know, the, the outer trailers are sort of protecting the inner trailer. So you don't get the trailers just like blown away uh, and damaged. Uh, another thing that you really, really need to watch out, you need to look for a high ground. Never park on the low ground. We had the known operator actually, uh, he got caught up in, uh, I think it was in Houston uh, during one of the floods. And I had a picture somewhere. If you guys are watching this video on our Facebook, uh, if you would scroll through the images, that image is most likely still somewhere there where the driver has a picture. He's reaching the water through with his hand through his uh, driver's side uh, window. So it can get really, really ugly if you are parked in the low ground. Always stay on the high ground. And for that to happen, you need to plan ahead. So you cannot be... The last guy pulling into the truck stop because you ain't gonna have no option to park in the high ground uh plan ahead park before the affected area after the affected area and if you have to park in the affected area make sure you park on the gr high ground for that to happen you gotta be one of the first guys pulling in better safe than sorry all right guys hope this helps stay safe and uh i'll talk to you in the next video